the following chemical energetics question is about uh, drawing a hair cycle uh, the question says that Hess law can be used to calculate the average CH uh, energy in methane. So the entire question is about finding the CH uh, bond energy. And the question states that enthalpy of atomization, uh, he's given you the definition of this. Uh, it's the standard enthalpy change of atomization, which is when uh, one mole of gaseous atoms are formed from its constituent elements in the standard state. Enthalpy of formation is given. The standard enthalpy change of formation uh, is the, is the uh, energy released or absorbed when one mole of a substance is formed from its constituent elements in the standard states and uh, enthalpy of combustion is the standard enthalpy change of combustion is the energy released when one mole of a substance burns in excess oxygen and it produces energy and every uh, all your reactants and products are in the standard states so uh, the question states that which data values are needed in order to perform the calculation so remember we are basically trying to find out the CH bond energy uh, we want to figure out what the bond energy of this uh, CH bond is. The way you can do that is you can construct an equation. Let's try and figure out uh, what equation would be equal to the CH bond energy. CH bond energy is uh, the energy uh, needed to break a CH bond. So uh, let's, uh, as you can see, the, uh, the options that you have, they're dealing with carbon, hydrogen, and CH4. So let's uh, think of a reaction which would be equal to the bond energy of CH. Uh, so let's say you have CH4 and CH4 is in gaseous state. Now if I, now CH4 has four CH bonds. If I break all those four CH bonds, uh, I'm going to get one carbon atom in its gaseous state and I'm going to get four hydrogen atoms in, the, in, it, in their gaseous state. So the bond energy of this, uh, the enthalpy change of this particular reaction would be equal to it would be equal to four CH bond energies because that's what you're doing in this reaction. The only thing, you're not forming any bonds. Uh, CH4, you're, the only thing that you're doing is you're breaking the four CH bonds in this molecule and you're left with uh, one carbon gaseous atom and four hydrogen gas gaseous atoms. So this is the enthalpy change that you want to uh, find out. Now what's given in the question is, uh, and we're going to start with option A first. So let's uh, look at option A. Option A is, what I'm going to try and do is, I need to find this enthalpy change, the enthalpy change for this reaction, which is equal to the CH bond energy. And I'm going to construct another, uh, or draw another cycle. Um, and Hess law states that one path is basically equal to the other path, as long as the reactants and the products are the same. So no matter which route is taken, the enthalpy change is going to be exactly the same. So I need to construct another path. I need to go from CH4 all the way to this side. So what the question has given us is, if you look over here carefully, enthalpy of atomization of carbon is given. Now enthalpy of atomization of carbon is when one mole of carbon gaseous atoms are formed from its constituent elements, which is carbon, and it should be in its solid state. So this conversion over here, one mole of carbon solid getting converted into one mole of gaseous carbon atom is basically equal to the enthalpy of atomization of carbon. So I have added that to the equation. Remember, uh, in on this side, you also have hydrogen. So since uh, you're not doing anything with the hydrogen in this reaction, so bring the four hydrogen atoms as it is uh, down because they're not taking part in the reaction. So they're still there, four hydrogen gaseous atoms. So the only thing that's happening when you go from this side to this side, carbon solid gets converted to carbon gaseous. So that's equal to the enthalpy of atomization of carbon. And uh, let's draw, put them in a square to show that they're together. So that's the first thing. So we've, uh, we've added the enthalpy of atomization of carbon. Now what I'm going to try and do is, uh, they've also given us the enthalpy of atomization of hydrogen. Now, enthalpy of atomization of hydrogen is when one mole of hydrogen gaseous atoms are formed from the constituent element. So, so this would be, now we're forming, we're forming hydrogen gaseous atoms from its element and the element is H2 in gaseous state. That's the element and I would need two hydrogens to balance this. So if I, if I convert hydrogen, this element, in its molecular state, hydrogen molecules into hydrogen gaseous atom, that would be the enthalpy 
of atomization of hydrogen and it would be multiplied by four the reason I'm multiplying it by four is because I'm forming four hydrogen gaseous atoms if I was forming one hydrogen gaseous atom from its element then th then that's enthalpy of atomization of hydrogen four hydrogen atoms means that that's four times the enthalpy of atomization of hydrogen and again in this reaction carbon is not playing any role whatsoever so let's bring carbon as it is to the other side it's not taking part in the reaction so let's get carbon on the other side so that's carbon solid nothing happened to it it's not taking part in that in this it's not taking part in this reaction so in this particular reaction the only thing that's happening is hydrogen in its molecular form is getting, getting converted into hydrogen gaseous atoms and uh, let me put this in brackets just to show that they are together so that's the second one and now we are left with the enthalpy of formation of CH4. Now, if you look carefully, if you look at this part over here, if you look at uh, this reaction over here, you would notice that this is basically equal to the enthalpy of formation of CH4. So it is, it is equal to the enthalpy of formation of CH4 because enthalpy of formation is when one mole of CH4 is formed from its constituent elements and the elements must be in the standard states. So carbon is solid and hydrogen is in, is in its molecular state at room temperature. So this uh, energy change over here is basically equal to the enthalpy of formation of CH4. So I have successfully created another path. I wanted uh, the enthalpy change for this particular reaction, uh, the CH4 energy. And I've successfully created another path, another route. And what I just need to do is I need to follow the route. Uh, the route would be that I would go from um, CH4. Let me correct that. The route is that I would go from CH4 to this thing over here. Then I'm going to follow this path, reach here. And then I'm going to follow this path and reach the other side. So my enthalpy for the CH bond energy would be equal to this other path. So in Hess law states that one root of a reaction is basically equal to the other root as long as the reactants and the products are exactly the same. So, so if you look at option A, option A looks perfectly correct. You can find the CH bond energy by using Hess law and by following this other path that we constructed using the data that was given in option A. So option A is going to be the, it's going to be the correct option for this question. Now we have found an answer, but uh, uh, the other three options are obviously incorrect. But just to clarify, uh, I'm going to pick another option just to show that why they're incorrect. So let's uh, look at option B. And we know since option A is the correct option, option B is going to be the incorrect option. So let me uh, uh, go over option B now. So uh, option B, again, we want to find the CH bond energy. So CH bond energy is basically uh, CH4 gaseous molecule, you break all the CH bonds and you get carbon gaseous atoms and four hydrogen gaseous atoms. So the enthalpy change of this reaction would be equal to the CH bond energy, but four times the CH bond energy because you're basically breaking four CH bonds. So we want to find the enthalpy of this reaction and we want to create a Hess cycle, another route which would be which, whose enthalpy would be equal to the enthalpy of the CH bond energy. So let's pick uh, enthalpy of combustion of carbon now enthalpy of combustion of carbon is that you react carbon with uh, oxygen so you react it with oxygen so let's add uh, o2 and when you react it with the uh, oxygen it produces it gets converted into co2 so that's carbon combusting we're not doing anything to hydrogen so let's get the hydrogen atoms as it is so in this step we uh, combusted carbon, we used enthalpy of combustion of carbon and carbon got reacted with oxygen and produced, ended up producing carbon dioxide. So this is the enthalpy of combustion of carbon. And remember again, we are not doing anything with hydrogen. So uh, there were four hydrogens present initially and the four hydrogens in your product as well. So they didn't do anything. So uh, they're not involved in this reaction, in this part of the reaction. So this is enthalpy of combustion of carbon. Let's uh, look at the second one, which is uh, the second data that's given is the enthalpy of combustion of hydrogen H2. Now, so far, I don't have H2 in my anywhere. I don't have H2 anywhere. I have hydrogen gaseous atoms, but I don't have H2. So I don't have 
anywhere to fit this data. I can't really fit this data anywhere in this cycle because I don't have H2 yet. So let's move on to the next one, which is the enthalpy of combustion of CH4. Now, enthalpy of combustion of CH4 is you're going to react uh, CH4 and you're going to burn it in excess oxygen, O2, and it combusts. And it, when it combusts, it produces, uh, it's going to produce CO2 gas plus it's going to produce uh, two H2O molecules in liquid state. So this is the enthalpy of combustion of uh, CH4. Now the problem is I can't really come up with a his cycle because I don't have this final route. This is missing. What is this? This is not given in the data. Uh, in this route, the four hydrogen gaseous atom, nothing happened to carbon dioxide. There's carbon dioxide gaseous in the products and there's carbon dioxide gaseous in the reactant. So in this part, nothing is happening to carbon dioxide. The only thing that's happening is H2O liquid is getting converted into hydrogen gaseous atom. And this information is not actually provided in the data. So, so I can't really come up with a H cycle and I can't create another route using the data that's given. The middle data is actually useless. I wasn't able to fit it, fit that data anywhere in my hair cycle. So that was completely unnecessary. I needed something else to go, uh, to go over here. So this information is missing. So B can't be the correct option because I wouldn't be able to find the CH bond energy uh, you, by drawing a hair cycle because I, there would be a missing link in the hair cycle and that information is not given in this data. So option B is incorrect. You can try it with option C as well. You can try constructing a hair cycle with option D. The problem would be that in each case, some information would be missing and you would not be able to construct a complete hair cycle as we did in this option A, where we had a complete perfect hair cycle where we could go from uh, this point to this point, then we would be, be able to move to this point and finally reach our products. So we were able to create a second route very, very successfully in option A. So option A is the correct option. The other options are incorrect.